how to live a meaningful life? What a question. It's, uh, I think it's a secret to life. Uh, yeah. Um, at the end, we need to ask ourselves, what is the KPI? What's the key performance indicator? What do we try to measure and what do we try to optimize for? And if you ask anyone what they really want, what they really, 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 really want deep down, it is to be happy. And it's something so simple, but I guess if you are happy, you actually live a meaningful life. And now we need to ask ourselves, how do we get happy and how do we do this in a sustainable manner? Not by taking drugs or doing anything kind of short term uh, that doesn't really get us fulfilled. Um, because it, to be truly happy, you really have to have fulfillment. And, and, and that is absolutely essential. So we can look at what evolution kind of programmed into our species. And basically what evolution programmed into all our species is that that of the survival of the fittest, the survival of those that adapt the best. And when we look at our species, it's actually shown that if you do exactly those things, our entire hormonal path, our entire neurological path, all those are actually optimized to make us happy. Most people, in my opinion, just do this a bit wrong. They don't understand what they actually need to do. Um, the very first part of, of, of surviving is obviously those of uh, so fulfilling your physical needs. I mean, it's that of sleeping, of, of, of food, of drinking, breathing, all these very fundamental things uh, that, that you need just to kind of physically survive. And, uh, and obviously, that's where it all starts. I think uh, it's very difficult to be happy and to be fulfilled if you're struggling with those things, um, simply because you have so many issues on how am I going to survive the next day. So this is where it all starts. And I think most people listening to this podcast, they, they are doing okay there, right? I'm, I'm not saying that, that, that they are not uh, uh, like struggling on, on some level, but I think it's important. Um, an interesting question here is what about health? Now, obviously, health is wealth, but at the end... Hell, like being super healthy is not a prerequisite to be happy. It's not a prerequisite to live a meaningful life. There's a lot of people who are like close to dying. They're definitely ill. They have pain. But their life is extremely meaningful. I just want to point this out here, right? It helps, but it's not a, a prerequisite. So let's take this to another level. The next level for anyone to be happy is actually to be self-determined. You can call this freedom and you can call this that you can ha call this having choices. You can call this having options. You can call this not being tied down. But at the end, it's being able to state and say, how, wh what do you want to do? And the funniest thing here is it's basically consisting out of two things that are at the contrary of each other. On the one hand, you want to have a lot of predictability. Because if you have a lot of surprises, if you don't know what's happening next, you're constantly living in fear. And that's why we love routines and that's why we love rituals and that's why we love like kind of doing like same things over and we develop patterns, right? I mean, I think 90% of what we do in daily life is actually a habit. We do it in a program. But if we only had that, we get bored. We love having a job because we love the predictability of a salary, but... If we have to do this all the time, we get bored and we start hating that. And that is why where we need the exact opposite. We need diversity. We need surprises. We need novelty. We need adventure. And so the key thing here is if you look at this, what is actually the optimum? How do you actually what, what do you actually have to do in order to feel fulfilled there? You will learn that there's one thing that any human actually can do. And, and if you do this, you, you, you feel this full joy long-term, and that is that of personal growth, that is that of personal learning, that is that of getting better at something. Um, the, the, the reason why, obviously, sports are so exciting is because you can beat someone else. You can get better at something. You can beat even yourself, right? Like if you look at golf, golf is such an appealing sport to so many people. Uh, running. Why? Because, yeah, you can run against someone else, but at the end, it's really about you have your time, you have your handicap, and you're trying to beat that. And, and it's this constant and never-ending quest on becoming better and getting better. And I think that is absolutely essential 
to living a fulfilled life. I don't know a single person that is living a meaningful life, that's living a, a happy life, that doesn't have some kind of regimen on working on their own kind of skill set. And one thing here is that concept of self-discipline. Self-discipline, many people think it's tying you down, but it's doing the exact opposite. If you want to have this self-determination and you want to have this healthy mix of liberty versus uh, some kind of rules, you want to have a lot of self-discipline. It's one of the most important things, in my opinion, when it comes to living a meaningful life. Now, you alone will never, like you can be the best there is, but evolution didn't design our species to be like so strong by ourselves. If you just look, I mean, we're slower than so many animals, we're weaker than so many animals, we're smaller than uh, a lot of animals, we can't fly, we, we can't really swim well, uh, we can't really run well, right? So we kind of would lose in a one-on-one -on -one battle against so many animals out there. But where we excel is that of collaboration. And that is now where we come to the ultimate, right? So it's the physical needs and then it's like the ones of the individual, it's a self-determination. And here it's all about personal growth and here it's all about like having the self-discipline. And now we're getting to that of in society. And when you're in society, status obviously plays an immense role because Obviously, the individual who was stronger and better and better developed and knows more has a higher chance of surviving, right? Bring the species forward. But also, the higher up in the ranks you are, the less likely it is for the group to kind of sacrifice you, right? I mean, if you're the leader, you're the most protected because you're kind of leading the group. So obviously, it's all about moving up in the ranks there. And so many people do this in a very destructive way, not a fulfilling way, not a meaningful way. They do it via status symbols. And that just doesn't really work. Or social media does this by telling us how many fans we have. So a lot of these very shallow, superficial things, going super wide. Now, going super wide definitely helps if you want to have a massive impact on this planet. Someone, obviously, let's say like an Elon Musk, right, that touches a lot, a lot of people with what he does, obviously is very important. The question, though, is, is this absolutely the necessity to have a meaningful life? And the question is, is it going to make him happy? Is, it gonna, is he going to be fulfilled? I don't know, right? I don't know. But most of the time, and you notice, it's not about the quantity. It's not about the, the breadth. It's about the depth, right? It's about the quality. So the trick here is, if you want to have a real meaningful life, you need to start with quality first. It's about the relationships. It's about the love. It's about the connection. It's about the, the, the bilateral exchange that you have with your closest people around you, with your partner, with your spouse, with your children, with your parents, with your friends, that is where it all starts. And I think that is the base for a fulfilled and happy life. Obviously, if you are whole by yourself, if you don't need someone else to make you happy, so you kind of have cleaned up on, on the other levels already, it's a lot easier for you to have this really nice exchange with someone else. And it's very easy for you to actually get these quality relationships. Why? Well, because everyone likes to be around someone that adds value, that doesn't kind of deduct value. But at the end, you need to understand it is about status, but it's status in a meaningful way. It's about giving. It's about helping. Yes, you're probably going to want something in return. That's normal. You want to have this exchange. But that is what it is all about. And to me, the ultimate here is to achieve this level of love, especially with the really close people around you. Don't fall for this where you have people who are super famous, super popular, and they believe that they are like, or, or many outsiders believe, wow, they have such a meaningful life. They're so fulfilled. But then deep down, you realize that these people are totally empty. They take drugs, they are suicidal, and we see so many stories of them. And the reason is because evolution didn't program us this way. Right? Evolution said, yeah, grow as a person, help the society to grow, but still focus on the quality. And so to me, kind of putting all these puzzle pieces together, a meaningful life is where you really work on yourself, you work on the community around you, and to me at the end, it then comes down and that's probably like the ultimate there because you get challenged in so many ways. Obviously, is that of producing offspring? Is that of 
putting successful children that are happy into this world and teaching the same thing onwards. Now, I get that some people cannot have children. Some people don't want to have children. I get it. And all these people can also be very fulfilled and they will all live, live a, a meaningful life. At the end, that, and I'm a scientist by heart, I'm a medical doctor. At the end, it is about helping evolution achieve what it programmed every single cell in our body to do. And I think with that line, anyone, I'm not saying everyone, but anyone can achieve fulfillment, can live a happy life, can live a fulfilled life. And the reason I'm not saying everyone is because so many people will not do what kind of nature and evolution has taught us. So hopefully with this really short audio, it helps you live this fulfilled life, be happy. And uh, yeah, if uh, this helps you in any way, reach out either on Twitter or Instagram. My handle is uh, Julian Hosp. Looking forward to hearing from you. All the best.